Okay, I've been tracking my Theta staking rewards since they changed the payment method beginning on March 10th. So we're going to look at the results over the first 22 days under the new payment method and see how it looks. Before I get started talking about the Theta staking reward, after that I'm going to talk about the pre-elite edge node, the T-Fuel staking rewards that exist now, and compare that to what we're going to be seeing when they release Mainnet 3.0 at the end of June. So watch it all the way through. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at what I show you at the end there. Okay, things I've spent 35 years in the software uh, career field i created a, a little database to track this let's go through all the way and show you there's 24 records in here the final record entered was the payment last night on march 31st at 11.37 p.m. of 12T fuel. All payments so far have been 12T fuel. D over at Gpool had said that the minimum payment was 12T fuel, but I've got 14,000 staked and I was averaging about 1T fuel per day per thousand staked back when I had 11,000. So I think that my average daily payout based on the increase of roughly 3,000 theta stake, I should be earning roughly 14 T fuel per day. But I don't know the exact figure because I increased my stake right at the time that they started this new lottery system for the payouts. So I've been tracking this because I wanted to see over a longer period of time what the average daily amount ended up being. So we're looking at 22 days of history at the moment and we're going to take a look at it again when we've hit 30 days and probably again when we've hit 45 days just so y'all can see if the average daily payout ends up being close to what I was supposed to get before. So 24 payouts of 12 T fuel each and I've got this handy button right here that I can click. It pops up the message and says average daily rewards over 22 days is 12.5 four t fuel per day and the last payment was on uh, march 31st 2021 so there you have it over the 22 day period i think the average daily payout is down by one and a half t fuel per day but we'll see how it looks again at the uh, 30 day point and see if that comes up or goes down or stays about the same. So I just wanted to give you the uh, update. And it looks like the uh, 200,000 T-Fuel stake is holding fairly steady at about 3.8 T-Fuel per day for the 200,000. But we're still in the pre-elite edge node beta. I'm looking forward to when they release the full elite edge node based on the numbers and so forth. The rewards are going to be a significant improvement over what they are right now keep in mind that right now they've limited the number of t fuel to be distributed amongst the staking people to 300,000 t fuel per month and the number of people staking has grown along with the number of edge nodes which are up a, about 300 percent over the last several months so obviously you would expect that the same size pie being divided by 300 percent more people it's going to reduce the amount that you get and when the full elite edge node is released those numbers will work the same as the total number of t fuel staked rises your rewards for the same amount of t fuel staked will go down that's just the way the numbers work but it's still going to be considerably more lucrative when the full elite edge note is released than it is right now okay just to put things into perspective between what it is now and what it's going to be when they release the full elite edge node right now the t fuel reward pot is limited to 300,000 per month and when the full elite edge node comes into play the monthly pot is going to increase significantly let's show you a number 
based on a 4% inflation rate, that's going to be a total of 209 million T fuel uh, that will go into the pot each year. And if you divide that by 12, that gives you uh, 17.4 million T fuel per month. So the staking rewards will go from 300,000 per month cap to 17.4 million per month. So based on those numbers, the T fuel staking rewards is going to increase. Let me see, uh, divide that number by 300,000. It's going to be 58x the amount of available T fuel in the T fuel staking rewards pot. Okay, so if I'm earning 3.8 T fuel a day right now and the pool is going to increase 58 times, then multiply times 58. That math says that my T fuel staking rewards, all else being equal, should go to 220 T fuel per day in staking rewards. So that's, uh, if I multiply that times 30, that's like 6,612 T fuel a month. Holy crap. Heck, if I just get a third of that, I'll be happy. So the bottom line here is if you're one of those people who've been thinking about swapping your T fuel for Theta, you might want to think twice. Okay, this is the chart I created from the spreadsheet that you've probably seen me use before that shows uh, the numbers based on the percent of the total circulating T fuel staked. And it goes from the 10% all the way down to 90%. And uh, as you can see, the higher the percentage that is staked, the lower your monthly T fuel reward goes. And based on the number I just showed you, uh, what my staking rewards should go to with the elite that number more or less agrees with the rewards there when just 10 percent of the total circulating t fuel is staked. keep in mind there's no way that i know of at this point of being able to know how much t fuel is actually staked on a percentage basis so uh we're just guessing at that but that's what this chart is so and it's based on staking 200,000 t fuel those what should be what the rewards will look like with the full elite edge node coming at the end of june okay if you found this helpful go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me if you would on your way out and i'll see you in the next video